Hey everybody! So, haven't blocked a lot lately, but it's just been so hot. It's not much you could talk about or you couldn't stand to be outside. But I did want to take a minute to remind you guys that if you are interested at all in having a soil sample done of your property, then it's time to start thinking about that. You can have it done through lots of online sources. Um, so you could order that and they'll send it out to you and you mail it back. Also, depending on what state you are in, there's extension services that do it. Well, ours has a, a great extension office. It's the Clemson Extension Office in South Carolina. And they can do it two ways. You can drop it off to them, which I think there is a Lexington Clemson Extension Office that could have it dropped off. And I think it's only about $6 uh, to have it done um, by drop off but they also have where you can order it on mail, in the mail and they will send it to you and then you um, put it all in there send it back everything's paid for all the postage is paid for and everything so it's kind of a one-stop thing and it's uh, 25 or 30 dollars probably for that each uh, the soil is pretty heavy so I'm sure the postage is kind of high to send it back. I think Woodley's and maybe some other nurseries locally might be able to just collect them and get them to Clemson Extension as well for you. So you could probably check that out. Now, one thing you want to consider is like, do you have several areas you want to test or how confident are you that your whole yard is this, the same issue? For, for me, I had three areas that all had issues and I, I didn't know if they were the same issue. Um, we have a new house and there was some dirt that was not on this property that was brought in for field dirt. It was red clay. Um, so that was a factor as well as what was just dug up from the basement adding into it and then what was originally on the property. So luckily I did do three separate ones. So if you think you want to do one, more than one area then you'll need to order more than one kit. And what you do is you take these dig these samples all around that area and then put them in a bucket or whatever stir it up and then put the soil sample in there so they don't go directly into the bags which you'll see that on the instructions but anyway if you want to have that done it's time to start thinking about how you're going to do that when you're going to do that and and getting that into them and I highly recommend it I had like I said three areas done they had totally different issues one was very acidic very uh, lack in nutrients um, one was very very high pH very alkaline soil and so alkaline that it that was the problem it was making everything suffer because when it's too alkaline it can't pick up the nutrients that it needs and then um, the other was a little towards alkaline, but uh, the nutrients that it was missing were different than the nutrients at the top. So it, it pays to do that. Then you know exactly what you need to add to that area, and it's it's definitely made it made a difference um, in in my plants. And so I look forward to testing it this year and seeing what it's going to show me as far as um, what I need to add to the soil. Um, I think I've got some pockets still that the pH is bad, um, but overall I think it's it's better. So you want to think about that. You want to think about seeds. Do you want any seeds for this um, next spring that you want to start trying to grow? It's good to order those, and then of course bulbs, um, and then just walking around your garden, see what you like, what you don't like, what you want to try to repeat, and what you want to try to change next year. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I just want to give you a quick reminder to do those soil sample kits. If you think you could benefit from that, then it's time to start thinking about that and ordering them. That's it for now, but I will be back again soon. Have a great one.